Mercedes-Benz originally released the GL class for the 2007 model year. It is a seven-passenger luxury sport utility crossover that was priced above the now-defunct M-Class SUV. The second-generation GL class was introduced in 2012. The new version was bigger, included updated styling, and offered an improved list of standard features. The current GL received an update for 2017 that includes more updated styling, refreshed interior, refined technical features, and the new GLS nameplate to correspond with the remaining Mercedes-Benz SUVs. The GL is available in four models for 2017, today's GL450 being the second model in line. The GLS is 201.6 inches long, stands 72.8 inches tall, and sits 84.3 inches wide with the mirrors included. Today's GLS 450 is featured in the Iridium Silver Metallic exterior color. The GL 450 begins with these automatic projector headlamps completed with LED daytime running lamps. The mesh front grille features several metallic belts coming off of the three-pointed star with chrome slots in each one. The front fascia includes your front parking assist sensors, a wide mesh air dam, chrome accenting, and the optional front facing camera. On the sides, you will find powered and heated side mirrors with color matching caps, integrated turn signal markers, and the optional blind spot indicators. The mirrors are also power folding. Bright accenting surrounds the side windows, while aluminum roof rails sit up at top. Color matching door handles with chrome accenting and passive entry sit on the doors, and metallic running boards complete the bottom. GLS 450 models ride on these standard 19-inch, 5-spoke aluminum rims wrapped with 275-55R all-season tires. Braking is provided through a four-wheel anti-lock disc braking system with adaptive braking technology and active brake assist. Electronic stability program and four-wheel traction control is also standard. Rear characteristics of the GLS 450 include an integrated rear spoiler over the rear window, tail lamps that are complete in LED lighting, a chrome belt that runs across the lift gate, upper chrome bumper accenting, your rear parking assist sensors, optional trailer hitch, and dual chrome exhaust tips. Once inside, you'll see that the GLS offers two front persons, 41.2 inches of headroom, 40.3 inches of legroom, and 58.5 inches of shoulder room. Standard safety features include dual front airbags, front side impact airbags, front side curtain airbags, and a driver's knee airbag. In the second row, Three persons are offered 40 inches of headroom, 38.5 inches of legroom, and 58.3 inches of shoulder room. An additional two persons can be seated in the third row with 38.9 inches of headroom, 35 inches of legroom, and 50.5 inches of shoulder room. Both the second and third rows also include standard side curtain airbags. Today's GLS 450 is equipped with the standard MB Tex upholstered seats, finished in black with perforated inserts and white contrasted stitching. Both front seats are powered as well as heated and the driver's seat provides three-person memory presets. The interior door trim includes anthracite poplar wood accenting, a metallic door handle, your door lock and seat position controls, your mirror and window controls placed on the armrest, your rear liftgate release, and a lower door pocket.
The rest of the interior carries on with anthracite poplar wood and metallic accenting, as well as optional ambient lighting accents. The driver is placed before a two-piece luminescent gauge cluster that includes a 160 mile per hour speedometer, an 8,000 RPM tack, and gauges for your fuel level and coolant temperature. In the middle sit your driver information displays that includes the outside temperature, a clock, the current gear selection and ride mode setting, the odometer with trip computer, remaining fuel range and consumption data, your eco display, your vehicle timers with individual fuel stats, a speedometer, your navigation information, audio information, hands-free phone access, your drive assist settings, the vehicle service menu, and access to other vehicle settings. The GLS driver grabs onto a Napa leather-wrapped four-spoke steering wheel with perforated accents and extension grips at 10 and 2 o'clock. The left spoke includes your driver information display controls, while the right side includes your hands-free phone, voice command, and audio controls. The back side of the wheel also includes your manumatic shifting paddles. Steering is provided through an electric-powered speed-sensitive rack and pinion system providing approximately three turns lock to lock. Today's wheel is also optionally heated. Over on the left of the dashboard sits your exterior lighting and parking brake controls. Your left column stocks include your turn signal and wiper controls, your four-way column control, that includes your heated steering wheel function, and your cruise controls. The right stock make up your gear selection controls. The top of the dashboard includes your front Distronic LED indicators. The top of the center stack begins with this 8-inch freestanding dashboard display. It is the gateway to the command infotainment system. The audio portion of this system is provided through an AM, FM, CD and MP3 stereo system that is backed by an optional 14-speaker Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system. This system also includes enhanced voice command, Bluetooth connectivity, HD radio receiver, optional Sirius XM satellite radio with traffic and travel link applications, available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, and the command hard drive navigation system. Using the command controller on the center console, you can access your audio settings, navigation settings, your digital media settings, your hands-free phone settings, as well as your additional vehicle applications, and other vehicle settings. Under the screen, you'll find additional audio controls, a numeric keypad, an SD card reader, your front heated seat controls, your traction control override, your emergency hazards, your auto stop start control, 
and your parking assist override. The very bottom of the stack includes the dual zone automatic climate controls. A storage pocket starts off the center stack, followed by two hidden cup holders and an ashtray with a cigarette lighter. The dial known as the command controller is what is used to access all of your dashboard display functions. If you wish to not use the dial, the optional command touchpad controller will do the same functions with the swipe of your fingertip. Over to the right sits the controls for your aromatic suspension level setting, your downhill speed regulation system, a shortcut to your vehicle settings, and your permanent manual shifting control. Behind them sits your dynamic select control, which allows you to choose from the customizable individual driving mode, sport mode, comfort mode, slippery mode, and off-road mode The split armrest opens up to a deep storage console with removable top tray and two USB ports within. In front of the passenger sits a nice dual layered glove compartment. The ceiling includes two sun visors with overhead lighted vanity mirrors. and secondary sunshades, two map lamps that are placed on the rear view mirror, your interior lighting controls, your sunroof controls, a place for a pair of glasses, your emergency and service call controls, and the universal garage door controls that are also placed on the mirror. The sunroof includes a manual sunshade. In back, second row persons have access to door pockets, two air vents, a few storage pockets, a 12 volt power outlet, netted mat pockets, and an armrest with two cup holders. To access the third row, you can use the lower side level to flip the seat, or just push the button placed on the seat back. Third row passengers have access to side cup holders. The very back of the GLS offers a standard 16 cubic feet of cargo room. Once the third row is folded, you'll have 49.4 cubic feet to work with. And once the third and second rows have been folded, you'll have a total 93.8 cubic feet of cargo room. The power folding third row seats are also a standard feature. You'll also find a 12 volt power outlet, netted pockets on both sides of the cargo area, and a first aid kit. Under the floor, you'll find the spare tire. The GLS 450 is powered by a 3-liter, 
24 valve, dual overhead cam, direct injection by Turbo V6 with variable valve timing, producing 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. EPA estimates are rated at 17 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. The 4MATIC all-wheel drive system is also standard on GLS. The 3.0-liter V6 sends power to the 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission with manumatic shifting. Once in reverse, the surround view system will be accessed on the dashboard screen, allowing you to view many different angles of the vehicle. This has been a presentation of Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. Be sure to thumbs up, comment and subscribe and also add MVS on other social media sites.